Like all other reptiles, the varanids are extremely well suited to their environment. Up here in the Kimberley, they occupy nearly every ecological niche imaginable. For instance, you have the massive Varanus panoptes, or yellow spotted monitor, that wanders the floodplains like an old dinosaur, digging out burrows, tearing open termite mounds and rotting logs, scratching up leaf litter and munching down absolutely everything it can find, including large venomous snakes like the mulga snakes, guardas and whip snakes. These monsters will happily feed on dead animals as well, and can often be seen fossicking along roadsides feeding on roadkill. At the other end of the spectrum, we have the Mitchell's water monitor, Varanus Mitchelli. This is a much, much smaller monitor that occupies the densely vegetated waterways of the northern Kimberley. They're pretty quick and have a tendency to disappear into the massive stands of spiny pandanus to escape predation. Now, we don't usually have to grab a hold of everything, but we had to grab a hold of this guy to actually get him because he was hidden in the pandanus. There's no way in the world we were going to get anywhere near him to get footage without actually catching him. This is a Mitchell's water monitor. Probably near the full grown adult. And he's just living in the pandanus down by the Ord River here, where you can also see big saltwater crocodiles sitting out there amongst the vegetation. The Mertens water monitor, Varanus mertensii, also inhabits the wet areas. This slightly bigger and more robust monitor is far more easier to find than Mitchelli as it's a bit less fussy about its habitat. It can be found in sparsely vegetated wetlands, large and small rivers, and along irrigation canals around Kununurra in huge numbers. Unfortunately, these guys are likely to take a hammering from the influx of cane toads. They'll readily eat toads and the inevitable outcome, sickness and death, will result in a huge decrease in their population both locally and regionally. Obviously rocky sandstone rangeland habitats are abundant in the Kimberley and there are a couple of varanid species that are very well suited to running around on the vertical rock faces. They have incredibly sharp claws and can literally hang from the rock virtually by one leg as this little black palm monitor, Varanus gleba palma, is clearly demonstrating. When you put yourself out there on the side of a cliff, predation is a bit of a problem. These guys are dorsolaterally compressed, that is very flat and skinny, and can disappear into the tiniest crevice to escape predation. Cliff faces are pretty dry and desiccating environments, so these guys will readily occupy caves where the high humidity reduces evaporative water loss. During the dry season, this is a great way to make the water that you have got last a lot longer. All in all, the Varanids of the Kimberley are pretty impressive beasties. Big or small, they all appeal to me, and getting up close to get video footage is a fantastic treat. One has to be pretty wary of the huff and puff defensive displays of the bigger monitors, the painfully accurate whipping tail, the skin piercing claws and the flesh tearing teeth. But like all reptiles, once they realise you're not wishing them any harm, they're as keen for a scratch as the family pet.